Hi, my name is Shailene, and today I'm going to read to you Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. It is created and illustrated by James Dean, and the story is by Eric Litwin. Have you read any other Pete the Cat books before? He's pretty silly. Do you have a pet cat? If you do, is he blue like Pete? It's probably not. <laughs> I don't have a cat, I have a dog, but she's definitely not blue, and she doesn't like to wear clothes. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much that he sang this song. What do you think groovy means? Hmm. If his buttons are groovy, it says four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. What might groovy mean? I think it might mean that they're really cool buttons. So he loved his buttons so much he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons. My four groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Hmm, how many buttons do you think are left? He had four, but one popped off. So he only has those buttons left. Have you ever lost a button off of your clothes? Did you get upset? Let's see. Oh, he has three buttons left. Four minus one equals three. One, two, three. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? How many did he have? He had three buttons and he lost one. One popped off. Let's find out how many are left. How many do you think are left? If he had three and one popped off. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Would you be sad if you lost a groovy button? Pop! Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? He only had two left. One popped off. I wonder how many are left. Look at Pete eating that ice cream. Do you like ice cream? I think that ice cream looks good. So how many buttons are left? That's right, one. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My button, my button, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. What do you think is going to happen with his one groovy button? There's one button left. What do you think is going to happen? Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. 
how many buttons are left? Well, let's see, he only had one button and it popped off. How many are left? Let's find out. Zero. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? What do you think Pete saw? He didn't have any more buttons on his shirt. So look at this. His shirt won't stay closed anymore because there aren't any buttons to keep it closed. So what do you think he saw when he looked down and his shirt was open? He saw his belly button and he kept on singing his song. Look at his belly button. His little white belly button. <laughs> What did he sing? He sang, my button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. And look, he's saying, it's all good. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no, we keep on singing. What do you think he's going to sing? I bet his button song, huh? Buttons come and buttons go. And that's the end. There's his buttons. So what do you think that um, the moral of that story is? What can we learn from Pete? What do you think? Did Pete get upset when his buttons fell off? No. Nope, he just kept on singing because sometimes um, things are not a big deal. It might seem like a big deal, but it's not. And um, it doesn't help to get upset. You know, we just have to have a positive attitude and look at the bright side. He always said, well, one popped off, but I still have three left. Or, and when all of his buttons popped off, he said, I still have my belly button. It's all good. So we should always look at the bright side. I hope that you loved this book. I love Pete the Cat. I love all of his books. And I think that this one has a really great lesson. So thank you for, for listening and for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Bye.